What up, what's my ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy GS Man, and today we have not one, but two, no, not two, three new additions added to the squadron. First and foremost, you look all the way to the right, and we picked up Chad Ochocinco. We got Chad Johnson. The card looked really, really, really good. I decided to go with this over Brandon Cooks, and both of those cards are going for about the same price. So I sold Cooks and picked up this Johnson. You know, unfortunately, there's 10K tax, so I had to put up some extra coins, but... Because we sold Cooks, you know, I didn't have to put up too much of my own coins. 94 speed, and by the way, he is fully maxed out. 95 catching, 94 elusiveness, 97 spec catch, 96 release, 99 route running, 93 catch in traffic with a jumping of 96. And these are the boosts he's able to go on ahead and get. Um, plus one spec catch, and plus two, no, plus one spec catch. And plus one jumping and one acceleration from Deep Threat. Route Runner Tier 2 gives um, one acceleration, two route running, two release, and agility and catching. And then Playmaker just gives him the ability to be Playmaker, um, you know, Madden 16 style. They cut up field or wherever direction you want them to go immediately. And they are guaranteed to go in the direction you want them to go to. Where sometimes when you Playmaker somebody, they just go in the complete wrong direction. Um, so the Chad Johnson looks... Really, really, really good. I would definitely try to implement him in the game plan. Uh, all that route running that him and Diggs have, uh, incredible. Incredible. So I definitely look forward to having these guys just do a lot of a lot of amazing cuts for your boy. On the defensive side of things, I'm, I don't know why this Sam Madison looked like it's not going for that much. Uh, it's going for like 700 k don't understand. I mean, I think he should be more expensive than Ocho Cinco. This card is amazing. Like, I, I, granted, I don't know how he plays because cards definitely don't play sometimes how they look. Some cards perform way better, i.e. DeMarco Murray, uh, Derek Henry. Some cards don't play nowhere near as good, i.e. Marshawn Lynch, i.e. J.J. Watt. But we'll see how he factors in how he plays. But just looking at everything, I mean, look... At this card, just take a look. He, again, he has all three chemistries maxed out. 95 speed, 95 acceleration, 92 agility, 97 man coverage, 98 zone coverage, 94 press, 99 play rec, and 82 catching. The card just looks amazing. And I love the edge setter chemistry because it's going to help him with the strength block shed. He's going to get two play rec. He's going to get a pursuit. And uh, two block shed as well, just to go ahead and make them more of a factor in the run game, which I like. I definitely, you know, like cornerbacks that can help in the run game and give me some block shedding. And he has 69, and that's pretty good for a cornerback. That's definitely pretty, pretty good. Uh, so he will definitely be a factor in the run game, along with uh, Willie Brown, who's my other block shedding guy that I have. Uh, card just looks great. I mean, the coverage looks amazing. The speed amazing the agility really good the acceleration really good the play rec maxed out at 99 i mean hopefully that just makes a big difference on on him just you know knowing what's around him at all times and you know that pursuit and play rec should just i mean that's the type of play rec like you only see from like top notch safeties like a choi palumalu or something that uh, he let me see what is he as a safety i know his chemistries won't work but He's got to be a pretty good 88. Okay, Mulligan, I take that back. I don't understand why he's only an 88. That's not disrespectful. Uh, but the last guy, and I sold Dion, and I also sold uh, Slay. Um, and the last guy I went ahead and picked up was this Denard. And, again, my fifth cornerback on my team, he's only going to see the field when his quarter's man-to-man -man defense. Outside of that, he's never going to see the field. And for my fifth cornerback, all I need is good speed so you don't get burned over the top because I like to put my uh, safeties in flats and clouds and yellow zones because i feel like i have enough speed to keep up with your receiver so i don't need the over-the-top help i would just worry about them trying to jump a route you know somewhere in their vicinity and uh so i need speed so you don't get beat over the top 93 speed is pretty damn glitchy uh 96 press though that is where uh he definitely has to be on a team because my fifth cornerback he is going to be lined up over the tight end and uh, he should do a very good job of just jamming them. That's all I need. Just jam them, disrupt the route, and make some plays happen, man. But his coverage is really good, too. I mean, 96 man coverage. His zone coverage is low, but again, he won't see my field unless he is in man coverage. Uh, so those are the three new additions we went ahead and got. Took all our coins, but 
hey, we got the new cards. Definitely looking forward to seeing how it is they perform. I will be trying to get you guys some gameplay with these guys tomorrow. So be on the lookout for that. I'm going to try and wake up early, get some gameplays done for you guys, and then uh, come from church and then upload them. So hopefully you guys uh, you know, are looking forward to them. So see, boy, GS, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go on ahead and be signing out three new additions. Hopefully you guys are looking forward to the uh, seeing how they perform. I'm looking forward to seeing how they do. We're going to go on ahead and be signing out. Peace.